am coming to you through a new camera. It's a Logitech conferencing camera that we, we've been using for quite a while to Skype. It's been set up uh, on the TV in the house. Um, this has 1080dp and it has some nice features and uh, trying to get out of this blogging thing without having to use this, which isn't super quality, although it's been amazing. Um, and what I'm going to do is turn it on so that I can take a little video of what this looks like. I'll flip back and forth. Here's the bench. Here's the camera. It's a Logitech camera that's used for video conferencing. We had it in the house connected to the TV and it's connected down here to my laptop and it's fully articulable. Articulatable. Bring it down like this and you can see the view on the bench. And flip down. And um, it has uh, controls to do close-ups and uh, it's autofocus and it's 1080 dp. So, we'll give this a go. Uh, it's connected to my Mac Pro laptop. Uh, it does uh, zoom in and uh, is auto autofocus. The goal of this is to uh, see if we can improve the video a little bit. It's a little wider angle too, which is kind of nice. The next bait will be made using largely this camera, so we'll see how it goes. I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera. I need to look at the camera more. Well, the next bait is going to be similar to the last one, but the carving is going to be a little more complex. I decided just to just up my game a little bit. If you don't see this, it means it didn't work and I didn't want to show it to you. So uh, we'll go from there. So let's take a look at it. Like I said, it's going to be similar. Um, a lot more detail around the head. Oh, would that change the focus? A lot more detail around the head. Um, there's a guy online on YouTube uh, called Bijan Bates, and uh, this is actually a copy of his. Um, while I'm learning this, I find that if I uh, take a look and see what some of the masters have done, I can try to make some copies as best I can. That'll kind of work out better. Um, so, time to start. I've taken the original one that I drew and uh, I've uh, cut it out and then traced it and cut out another one so I can keep my original pattern. I'm keeping some thickness to the lore so that um, I'll have some place to carve the relief in. If I thin it down to the, to the right size, there'll be nothing uh, sticking up for the relief carving on the outside. Well, I've drawn this pattern on here, getting ready to carve. Trying to get it the same, which is freehand on both sides. Now, I'll drill the holes and start in the carving.
Well, here it is, um, pretty much carved and sanded a lot. Let's see if I can get a close up here. One thing I'd like to do is put a, uh, a longitudinal um, rattle in there. And I think what I'm going to do is I've cut this small piece off from the straw and I'm going to try to embed it right in the bait. So there's a slot in the bottom and here is a piece of straw. I'm going to put a, piece, a ball bearing in there, maybe two. And then this straw will be embedded inside the bait. I'm going to put some weight towards the front of the bait, the front half. So when it goes in the water, it should sit like this. And when it's pulled, it should bring it up. Drop and up, drop and up. We should get around that way. I think. Well, today I'll be taking and putting some white paint on this, the primer coat, and um, then putting a uh, layer of, um, of uh, UV curing uh, resin on it, uh, getting ready to paint the, the, uh, the, the coloring on the floor. Um, I have these new pair of hemostats to hold the lore, and um, I've made a uh, holder for it. And um, I think I'm gonna like this a little bit better than the alligator clip thing. Thank you.